guys. Yes. So I've finally given in. I'm going to become a YouTuber because obviously my future holds nothing but despair. That's an awful angle to be at. Okay. So. To be a YouTuber, you need talent. But I don't have any of that. Except I can kind of make my face look nice with makeup. So. Today I'm going to be following a new tutorial. <laughs> makeup tutorial. Oh wow, the camera hates me. I'm looking rough and this is an awful angle. I've got this balanced on a candle and some bath bombs. Like a tube of bath bombs. It's very precarious. So, I definitely don't have, probably don't have any of the makeup she's going to use in this video. But I do have this Anastasia palette and this really old Stila palette. It's fun fact about me. I don't throw out makeup. Like, I know they have expiration dates on it and everything, but I don't throw out makeup. Like, what do I look like? Nikki tutorials? I don't think so. So, we're gonna be following Nikki tutorials tutorial for vampy holiday cat eye makeup because that seems like something I could achieve within, I don't know, like 20 minutes, 15, 15, 20 minutes tops. So, this isn't actually going to go up on YouTube. I'm just going to send this out to a few people. And if it ever resurfaces, I'll kill you. Okay, so let's get started. Think of Christmas makeup. One of the first things that pop up in well, my head are like a sexy... Bring this over here so you guys can watch with me. So, I just want to sit down trying to look at new ways of doing a modern... Maybe I should put this up higher so you can see it from the horrendous... Cat eye. Cat eyes are as sexy as hell. And who doesn't want to be sexy? And also, please make sure you this watch this, is, this, this is a shit show. Because during Winter Wonder Week, there will be a lot of giveaways, including in this video. So yeah, if you're in the mood to cut your haters in half using your cat eye this holiday season, then please... Alright, let's skip ahead to where she says. Let's imagine you're having this Christmas dinner or your year. This is the year to shorten and blur, but Aunt Lucy has nothing to say about it. Oh, she's putting on primer. Okay. I don't use primer. My face is perfect. So we're going to use this rose oil I have. Wait, she's putting on more primer? Or is she putting on foundation? Oh, she's putting on foundation this with a brush, but I don't have a foundation brush, so we're gonna use a beauty blender that I've also had for literally ever. Oh, that's very, very full coverage, a very full coverage foundation she's using. I use Urban Decay Naked Skin because it's the closest color you can find on the market that's close to my skin tone specifically, and it's like medium coverage, so. Well, she's already done. Nikki, slow down. Ooh, I should probably replace this. I've had this forever. It doesn't smell right. Unless it's supposed to smell like alcohol. You know, I don't spend a lot of time smelling my makeup. So I don't know what the difference between good makeup and stale makeup is. Ooh. Can you tell I'm like not doing this right on camera? I should probably be looking. And they, oh, and they put their makeup beauty to uh, beauty gurus on YouTube. They put like their foundation over their lips because they usually wear like really thick lipsticks. Need a thick beat. Fun fact: I never actually wear foundation when I wear makeup. I rarely ever wear like if I'm having a really bad skin day, I'll wear foundation so I can put on concealer and blend it. But for the most part, I don't really wear foundation. I just, which is why. I have this very kind of old, mostly full bottle of foundation still. Okay. I'm stressing you out. I suggest going in with a stick concealer. Stick concealer. I don't have that either. I have Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, two shades lighter than this foundation, which is what the internet told me your concealer should be. So first I'm going in with this 
But she's so pale. Like, how does she even conceal? Milk? Milk? Okay, so she's going all under her eyelid. Like, I do usually do dots, but she's going, like, in. She's like, oh, Jesus, oh, she's done. She's got, like, these clown tears. Is this showing up on camera at all? Do I just look like an asshole? Am I? Okay. Is that all? Is that, she only put it under her eyes? Let me write this down. I can't see her face. Shape tape? Wait. She's using a different concealer now? Wait, she just put more concealer on. This, she's insane. Okay, so she did this, and then she's buffing it in with her sponge, so we're gonna... Okay, she's about to set her powder, I think. She's about to set it with powder or maybe even bake. Oh, God. I was going to do a James Charles tutorial because this haircut has got me feeling very James Charles-y. But, uh, wow, why do, why do beauty gurus do this? Like, this looks kind of awful. I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong or what or if I got wrinkles at 20, but who? Or maybe I have to be more aggressive. Okay. Magic powder to set the rest of my face. This is a beautiful, beautiful so now we're setting. I will use Laura Mercier. It's a little bit of a, like a super fine shine to it. It's nothing shiny, but it just gives you shiny. sort of natural it... skin like radiance, especially when what you're able to look at it like me. You need that little bit of shine to make it look like skin again, and this powder does that for you. Okay, she's using a puff, so I should probably go in with my sponge, not a brush. I do normally use a brush for powder, but she's using a sponge, and I'm using at least half try to follow this tutorial correctly. Well, wait. Oh, she's using an eye. She's putting an eyeshadow primer on. I'm still setting. You know what? Forget this. Where's my brush? This is very old. Like this is definitely like just from Walgreens. It's a little damp because I washed my brushes earlier today, but now I'm doing this makeup tutorial. Maybe I should just do my own tutorial. Like, that'll be my next video. That If if, the, if there's ever a bit next video, it'll just be me doing my own tutorial. I wish I could have my camera, like, right here where I'm looking in the mirror. Like, that's a much more flattering angle than what I have right here. Okay. All right. Wait, we're already moving on to highlight? Wait, she like did? Okay, so she put some kind of eyeshadow primer on her eyelid, so I'm just gonna use more. <laughs> Ooh, can you tell I don't do this ever? I just put it right on there, pigment straight on, not usually my skin, not even foundation. I think that's why I'm always looking effed up. Well, she put this primer on her eyelid, and I'm going to use concealer because I know it's basically the same stuff. I have to plug that bottom bit out that I just ruined. Oh, God. This is awful. This is absolutely atrocious, even. I'll never be a beauty guru. Can't see anymore. Well, let me fix this. I hope I can edit this out. And if I can't, well, y'all might have a laugh. Okay. Boost highlighter. I talk about this all the time on my channel. I'm putting this on the brow bone right now. To where Wait, I she did her eyebrows already? She did her eyebrows off camera. That B word. All right, so I gotta do my eyebrows. She I wouldn't be surprised. She did it like a drag queen where you do your eyebrows before you do your foundation, and then you like carve them out after. But I don't have the skill for that, so. She did her eyebrows and they're in this like aggressive arch. But I can't really do that with these puppies right here that sit above my eyes. They're not even like the same shape to one another. They're, they're like, they're not even, they're like cousins. They're not sisters. They're not twins. They're cousins. 
So for my eyebrows, I use this Stila palette, the darkest brown shade in the palette, and an angle brush. This is Eco Tools. Why am I telling you that? You none of you fuckers if you follow this shit. But, um, to carve out my eyebrows, I start by making the shape. It always F this step up. First I line out the flo the blocky part, and then I line out the pointy part. Because my eyebrows are very strange, I there's not a lot you can do to them. And my left eyebrow is always in struggle. Because the blocky part isn't shaped the same on my left as it is on my right. Like I think the blocky part is a little longer on, longer on my right than on my left. And then, you know, it's just harder to cross body. And when you're as aggressively right-handed as I am, it's when it comes to holding things like pens, pencils, and brushes. It gets difficult. So we're taking like a 10 minute detour to do my eyebrows. Maybe no one just uses does her fucking eyebrows off camera. Are hers like microbladed on there actually? She might be microbladed. Don't let Nikki fool you guys. She microblades. How much does microblading cost? Microblading cost, I wonder. Like, I know that's a straight up a tattoo of your eyebrows in your eyebrows. So, like, I wonder how much it even people pay to go and get that done. Okay, so I'm making a complete mess of my eyebrows, but I'm wearing foundation, which means I can go in and clean this up with highlighter and um, concealer in a second. And then I'll highlight, I guess, is what she's about to do. Where did I put that? Ooh. So you do this, and you do something like that. Mostly need it on this side, on the top. Okay, and then we'll just blend that out. Now, let me just say something. Like, I don't usually judge girls on their makeup because, you know, it's not easy. It's not easy to like turn your face into another face. That's what makeup is. You're changing your face. You're changing your whole face. I shouldn't have said this. Uh, why'd she tell me to set before I did my eyebrows? Is she insane? I have to put foundation on top of this or something. Or like aggressively blend this out. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? Oh well. But makeup is changing your face and making it another face, right? You know, it's not easy. So I don't usually judge girls on their makeup, but I can't stand it when girls, like they draw in their eyebrows and then they go over them with the concealer to carve them back out. And then they just leave the concealer times there, the concealer lines there. They don't like blend the concealer out. So you can still see where they concealed after they did the initial pass with it. Like they didn't blend it out at all. That's a pet peeve of mine when I see that. Girls, don't do that. Don't do don't play yourself like that. Okay, let's get back to the tutorial. So I have my blend of my crease color a lot too. I wear this highlighter on a daily like day-to-day -day life every single day. And it goes with me All my highlighters are like aggressive colors, so I'm shattered it. I shattered my precious boost, but that doesn't take away that this is one of the When did she do her eye makeup? Highlights out there. I actually oh, used to she did, did like one of her eyes was already done. Oh, she must have done all that off camera. Now she's showing how to do it on the other eye. But she's putting a little like a white highlighter under her eyebrow, but I don't have any white highlighter. Close to I have is this, but I'm not even gonna try. Okay, so she's going into her palette. She's using a Nebla palette? And she's talking about it, and she apparently she got in PR. So let's just get, okay. So she's got a lot of reds in there. The Norvina has more purples than reds, but I think I can make this work. Unless she uses like that berry color, in which case I'm have to find another tutorial. Very easy to work with, very blendable, very soft. So today, I need this one for a little. I have to reset this powder. Hold on. And she immediately uses that berry color. So the closest thing I have is this deep red, brick red, called Passion. 
So she's putting that all in her crease. She's telling us what brush she's using, but go to the F. Wait. Wait, hold on, honey. Go back. No, no, no. How is she doing that? Like, she put a lot of it in the inner corner, and then she kind of, like, how do, I don't understand how these beauty gurus make that perfect wing with their eyes shadow. She's, like, not, I usually use the windshield wiper method, but she's more like she's, uh, she's patting it in with her brush. Also, there's not as near as much real estate between the top of her eyelid and her eyebrow. Like, she's got way more of that space than I do, so I'm gonna have to, whatever she's putting over this is not gonna have near as much space as it does on hers. Like, I'm already ruining this. I have the wrong colors. So, I'm just giving, like, credits. Don't go to Plum Fool. Alright, I'm gonna do the other eye now. See, that's the other thing. Beauty gurus never do their both eyes at the same time. They do one eye, then they come back over to do their other eye. And I think that's stupid. Like, it just makes it more clear to the rest of us that you're going to wipe this off as soon as you're done. I say that like I'm not going to wipe this off as soon as I'm done. Like, I'm not going to set this with setting spray when I'm done. I thought about not even setting the powder, but I need to at least make the foundation look right before I get started with this. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. I'm ruining it. I'm ruining it. <laughs> I don't have that much eye real estate, if eyelid real estate, if I'm being honest with you guys. Alright, so those sides are clearly different. So I'll, fi I'll fix it later. <laughs> I'm just buffing out the edges by using soft circular motions. Soft circular then motions. Then now going in with the color Zen and blending this right above. And then she's blending... Which one was Zen? Was that or like a pure red? Then now going in with the color Zen and... Oh, no, it's a pinky color. Right I have this pinky color that I can blend over that with. Uh, probably should just change brochures, but she's blending it over. Hold on, wait. Pause. Okay, so I've got enough colors. I think I can pull this off. The other side of it, it's going to look a lot different than what she's doing because I'm working with an entirely different palette because I only have this palette of colors and then I have a palette of nudes. Let me switch brushes. This is not it at all and she puts a darker red but this is the dark this is the only like reddish color i have in this palette that i started with in my crease so if you want to actually do this look you're gonna have to look at nate king's actual video and you probably use this actual palette or something similar to it like this just has so much potential and she's blending and she blends it together so anyway Blending brush. And she blends it up. So I'm not very good at blending. So I always use a blending brush when I do it. Like even if I know I'm going to add another color, if I'm trying to blend early on, I always use a switch to a blending brush and just hope for the best. Because I'm not very good at makeup, you guys. I'm not going to lie. You all, y'all be hyping me up, but I'm really not that great. I just bs my way until i figure it out at the last possible second okay and then she puts a darker like a one uh, she puts a darker okay she's adding the shimmery paint to the lid but she adds a darker color out here which i don't really have anything darker than this red i used <sighs> unless i switch to this palette and find something oh shoot. do i have a better color in the no i don't it's all browns in this palette. Hmm. Is there way I can fudge this? Alright. So we're going to use this. She's not using a glittery. She's not using a glittery color. Let me make that clear. She's not using a glittery color on her outer corner, but it's the only thing I have in this palette that's darker than the color I use in my crease. And I know it's what's supposed to go out here. It's supposed to be darker than what you put on the lid. So when you finally blend it all together, it gives dimension to your eye. Even though my eyes are kind of, I guess the word is like outset, quote unquote. So you can kind of, even if I didn't have anything on my eyes, you could see that they're shaped. Funny. I kind of got a rough face, like. 
I really don't have any business being a girl, to be honest. Like, I love being a girl, but, you know, my face is a little rough. You know what I'm saying? Okay. She didn't blend the outer corners, at least she didn't show herself blending the outer corners. So I'm assuming she's gonna blend that later. And then she puts this shimmery pink on the inside. Uh, I used usually use sort of like a flat brush or like a sponge, you know, one of these bad boys, to do anything glittery on the inside to like a pigment. I'm gonna use this because it's easier to clean later on. Jesus, I'm gonna use Wild Child. She's using Orosita from whatever palette it is. I could have been telling y'all what colors in this palette I'm using. I'm so awful. I'll never be a YouTuber. I'll never do anything. <laughs> oh, Jesus, all right. That's not nearly as pigmented as I thought it was. We're gonna have to switch. I'm gonna switch this one to up pigment. Okay. This is really more like a top layer. I probably. Can y'all hear the TV in the background? How long have I been recording? Oh, Jesus, I've been recording for 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, Jesus. This is, this is. Maybe I can edit. Hopefully I can edit in Samsung Gallery. I'm recording this on my phone if y'all haven't figured that out yet. I mean, I guess I could have done this on like my mom's actual recording equipment, but this isn't going to see the light of day, so. If this was actually going on YouTube, I'd probably be putting in more of an effort. You know, this doesn't actually look too bad, up close anyway. So this might be a look at y'all see me pull out, like in actuality, but, but it's more of a plummy like, there is a very vampy, like, Christmas. This is more like a sugar plum fairy. Okay. And since it's the holidays, time for a little bit of glitter. Oh, she's just putting straight glitter on her eyelids. I don't have any eyelid glitter. So we're just gonna do a little blendy blend. Cat wing liner. I'm starting my wing from the bottom Wait. Line. Oh, she didn't have like a bottom eyelid, so she can do that. Okay, wait. Hold on. So she's starting under her eye with the eyeliner, and then she's bringing it back down. Oh, and then she buffs out her lower lash. People can put their makeup under their eye without looking like insane. Kudos to y'all. So she takes her line and she does like. All right. Look at y'all in. Can't zoom her out in this mode. What the fuck? Cheap equipment, y'all. <laughs> this phone was very expensive. I'm not coming for you. I'm not coming for its gig. Okay. But she takes her liner and she starts, at, she takes it like out here and then she brings it under her eye first in her lower lash line. And then, I should have baked, she should have baked, she, she, she didn't bake, see, so it's gonna be harder to sweep all this fallout that comes from this palette. I think it's not even like at the palette's fall, I think I just got a bad batch of this palette. But the colors are so pigmented, I don't mind the fallout that much. See, I don't like the way she did her wing because it's like she brought it down too sharply so it doesn't follow the natural line of her eye. When you're doing eyeliner, you should let your wing kind of follow the natural shape of your eye. Like you don't want your wing to look too curvy like as opposed to the line that you put on your actual eyelid. <coughs> I'll edit that out. Okay, so she does that and... Looks great on hers because she's got a fresh eyeliner. This is a very old eyeliner. Oh, she puts it all in her eye. Okay. 
And she takes that berry color and that pink color and she smiles. She's like, oh, okay. I'll get there. Pro tip, if you hold the your uh, mirror directly under your face while you're doing eyeliner, it's easier to create the line right. Okay, same on this side. Oof. Oh, I stabbed myself in the eye. Well, that line looks way better than the one on my right, so I'm just going to have to thicken that up a little bit to even them out. Okay. And then she takes a blending, like a blending nub brush. Oh. oh, not a bit cracked. And she takes, she takes like a smudge brush. Something like this. And she goes in with that color you put in your crease and the color that you put above your crease. She takes some of that and then she uses that to smudge out under her eye like uh, like so I can't see. Now see this little gap here? That is exactly what you want. And this is going to give you that extreme modern cat eye feel. And I'm filling that up. I'm not leaving it. Okay. okay, I don't have white liquid liner. I have solid liquid liner. I have solid white liner, but not liquid white. Just like that. Yummy. Now, of course, I'm also extending my inner Oh, honey. Liner. And lastly, for lashes, I'm using these for yeah. adult beauty. And these are called it's not gonna work. Okay, okay, and then she brings it in on her inner liner, and then she doesn't. It's on the falsies, but I don't wear falsies, so. This one's fucked up. This looks so fucked up. She's crazy. Maybe I, maybe I got too big for my britches by going straight to a Nikki Tutorials tutorial. Maybe I should have gone with like a James Charles or a Manny MUA. Let's see, but I couldn't find any like doable, insane ones James Charles had done. And I don't know enough about Manny MUA to make that call. I forgot he existed when I just started filming, to be honest. Okay, so she hasn't brushed away her fallout, but I'm having fallout, so I'm going to take a powder brush. I'm going to sweep that out of there. Ooh. Ooh. Sweet. Okay. So she's done with her eyes. Well, let me put on some mascara at least to get this white from my concealer out of there. This is an awful video. It's almost 30 minutes long. No one's gonna watch this. I'm gonna have to edit the crap out of this. Oh, Jesus, goddamn. We're not stopping.
Okay. I don't use bronzer. She's in highlighter now. She's using a very subtle highlighter. It's not a va va boom highlighter like the Fenty's ones I've got, but that's all I've got, so... So I'm going to go in with this Fenty Beauty highlighter. I also always apply this highlighter on my no makeup days. I'll apply a little bit of tinted moisturizer and apply this on my highlighting points and I will look radiant as hell. Mmm, mmm, she is radiant and glowy. Thank you again so much, Flesh, for sponsoring today's video. You are making some dreams for Winter Wonder Week come true. Thank you so much. Alrighty, so for lips, I don't really know what to do. My initial plan was to go in with this chrome Ooh, metal that's aggressive. matte liquid lipstick by Nebla in a red color. This could be super festive and fun, but also a little bit predictable maybe. So I also have this one right here. This is by Lawless, and this is called Dame. Dame. Okay, and now she's going in with a cherry, like, wine-colored lipstick. Oh, Jesus. Yes, does she? I think, you've done all. I think she has lip fillers. Okay, I think she's done. She's about to set, but I'm not going to set. Like, what's the point? I'm. Mean, Y'all know I'm going to wipe this off right after. I like using my top lip first because my top lip is a weird shape. Like, I don't have much of a cupid's bow. But I noticed beauty gurus who like have definitely have lip fillers. They start with their bottom lip. Let me just emphasize how juicy them hose is. But I think that's the end of the tutorial. She highlighted, she bronzed. I don't bronze. I'm already a bronze goddess. So there's the tutorial, you guys. Face tour. It's pretty rough. And I messed it up. I put mascara like right here while I was putting it on. I've ruined it essentially. But, uh, fuck with me.